हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय व्लॉग ऑफ द ट्रेन जर्नी फ्रॉम बॉम्बे टू गोवा हाय गाइस दिस इज सादान शेख इट इज 1:50 फिफ्टी एम इन द मॉर्निंग राइट नाउ एंड आई हैव जस्ट बुक्ड माय टिकट टू गोवा आई एम टेकिंग द करमाली तेजस स्पेशल दैट डिपार्ट्स फ्रॉम छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज टर्मिनस एट 5:50 फिफ्टी एम इन द मॉर्निंग This train looks very new and it has automatic doors as well. I was the only passenger in my coach E1 when we departed from CST. This train has a total of 8 stops on this 725 km long route. It departs from CSMT at 5:50 a.m. then stops at Dadar, Thane, Panvel, Chiplun, Ratnagiri, Kodal and finally ends at Karmali. More people boarded at the next stops which are Dadar and Thane. and the total travel time of this train is 10 hours and 10 minutes and the average speed is 71 kilometers per hour almost about to settle down but really upsetting slash funny thing happened i was uh, actually in a hurry and running towards my train which is when my soles came off my shoes sort of gave up on me and uh here have a look so the soles basically came off and i loved these shoes so that was kind of hard breaking plus these were all in shock so they were expensive thankfully i carried another pair so i'll be able to make do with them and train just moved a little before stopping again so i'm guessing there is uh, some small bit of uh, technical issues that they need to take care of it is already past 5:50 am and uh, we haven't left CSMT yet which is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj terminus one of the major uh, railway stations of mumbai along with bandra terminus and uh, mumbai central dadar uh, and yes it is moving now it is slowly moving again now so stay tuned and i'm going to take you through my entire journey i'm really excited uh, follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter the leg raise did not rise all the way up and apart from that the seat featured a plug point reading lights a couple of hangers and window shades uh, the seat seat recline was good enough to be able to take a nice nap and the three way adjustable headrest was quite comfortable as well i was looking forward to getting some rest on this journey and there are only chair seats on this train i was a little concerned in that regard because i haven't slept the entire night uh, i booked the train around this ticket around 2 am which is when you know i finally decided that i want to travel to goa and narrowed down on this after checking out the seat features i enjoyed the beautiful views outside while waiting for breakfast and the breakfast service was provided at 9 am and there were two options upma and poha i opted for upma Also note that the fare does not include the food cost. taking breakfast i got comfy in my seat and enjoyed the beautiful views outside and not long after the staff members arrived to take our orders for lunch there were two options rajma rice and dal rice kya kya hai rajma masala rice video wo 
पानी डाल के प्रिपेयर करोगे ये हम पानी में डालेंगे दाल तड़का विद प्लेन थैंक यू नॉन वेज नहीं है ना ट्वेंटी फाइव है मैं यार दाल तड़का यस प्लीज और दूसरी बात मेरी आँख लग गई तो प्लीज उठा दें आँख लग गई तो प्लीज उठा दें कितने बच्चे हैं जब भी भी आप लोग नॉर्मली सर्व करते हैं ड्यू टू कोविड नाइन्टीन प्रोटोकॉल ओनली पैक्ड एंड रेडी टू ईट फूड वॉज अवेलेबल एट द मोमेंट As you can see, the chair car section is in a three-two configuration. The price for this seat was uh, around thirteen hundred rupees, almost half of what I paid for the executive chair. The seats are smaller, and there is no headrest here. And although there is recline in the seat, it is much lesser than what I have in the executive chair. There is a legrest here, a bottle holder, a storage compartment, a table, and a screen that wasn't working. We are almost halfway through the journey, and I must say this has been a, an amazing ride, a really peaceful one. And the scenes have been breathtaking. I mean, it was so beautiful. Some of the, some of the valleys that we passed through, and some of the waterfalls that we saw, the fields and villages. Uh, it was. I'm. I'm speechless. was it was so beautiful and the next stop is going to be chiplon which is where i will get down as well Giri station right now. The train is stopped here. That's our train right there behind me. And the weather is really pleasant. It's still raining, and uh, really loving this. This journey has been amazing. It is uh, going to be a memorable one. No, I'm just loving it. This train is the ideal choice for leisure traveler. you get to enjoy one of the most scenic routes and the travel duration is also at just 10 hours this train brings you to goa at 4 pm which sits well with your check-in timings at any accommodation the train made a lot of unplanned stops on the way most of the times to let the train from the opposite direction to pass through the single rail tunnels there are a lot of these tunnels on the way these unplanned stops led to a delay and so the train was running at least 1 hour behind schedule the train made another unplanned stop at thevem which became convenient for me as thevem was closer to morjem which is where i was going to stay for the first two nights so i got off at thevem at exactly 4 pm this also meant that i was going to reach my accommodation sooner than expected Karmali was at least half an hour from Thevem meaning the train had at least made up for some lost time but not all of it I concluded my trip at Thevem and so wasn't able to cover the last half an hour of the journey but I assure you that the rest of the journey was the same if you happen to travel from Mumbai to Goa then you do not have to hesitate hesitate about choosing this product because it is it's an absolute class product and so with this i end my vlog here until next time i'll see you guys very soon i'm going to be preparing an itinerary vlog on goa on my stay here and all the things uh, i've got a lot of things planned for here so stay tuned and do check that out as well